<laughs> you don't stop all that got door noise. Welcome back. Random TV reviews, your girl. Is back. Your boy Stanley. Coming to you a little later than normal. We had to cook. We had to prep. We got a yeah. busy weekend going on, so we had to do a whole lot of stuff today that we would usually do on the mob, but we had to do it today because that's the way it works. Yes, indeed. But uh, let's get on to Green Leaf. What was it called? Two. Two by two. two. What's the hymn for the day? Oh, we're going on the rough side of the mountain. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm striving. Hey. Trying to make it through this barren land, Lord. Hey. Mm. But as I go. You better sing it. Day to day, <laughs> I can hear my Savior say. Get on to this review. Um, that's what Bishop will. He going up a side of rough side of the mountain on this episode, ain't it? <laughs> Bishop will rough this episode, boy. Good this God one might. It won't allow to a job, but for real, for real, the whole time Bishop let First Lady may know that I know that you know that I know that you know that you did something. Yeah. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw jabs at you every Ten, single time. Exactly. That I'm in your presence. I'm gonna shoot you down. So in other words, I know where your push been. Hmm. And it won't far from the hill hound. Huh? So we start off, we got um um Sophia and Bishop, they dancing, you know, trying to get ready for the cotillion, doing what they got to do. And this is where we first got a roadblock and Charity's plan to go on the road to take take everybody to the king with Tamala Man. I told y'all last episode, Tamala Man was just gonna have to get somebody else to take them to the king because Charities mm -hmm. ain't gonna be able to do it. Well, Marisol's husband got really, really sick with meningitis, right? Yeah. And had to go to the hospital. So she ain't gonna be to work. This is the part that pissed me off. First lady may act like she was more concerned about Marisol not being at work than she was about her husband she ain't almost give a dying. Fuck about her husband. So she told Bishop and them, and she was like, "That's it. Basically, this sickness right here is the perfect reason." Why charity should stay her she's home right here. She said the devil was getting ready to sit on the road with Tamla, but the Lord stepped in. Come on now. <laughs> and Bishop was like, Well, I think that charity going on the road is a really good That's idea. Right. I think her going out there and, and exploring herself and finding fulfillment in other in other places is exactly what she needs to do right now. I said Now I'd agree if, if her motives is pure. She did admit in the episode that I, I partly want to go because I like Jabari. No, that's the whole, that's the whole reason. Truth. You go sing behind all. You be on the chitlin circuit if it, if Jabari was on that holding a good time. Just like I remember, y'all remember the, the late Shamba, the preacher Shamba. Mm -hmm. He said, when you in love, can't nobody tell you nothing. And that's so true. Very true. Very true. So the whole time that Bishop Greenleaf is over there throwing shade at first lady May. Gigi is over there looking like what the hell is going on with these two? I mean, what did what did I miss? Because <laughs> y'all was just loving and dubby, and now y'all just throwing shade and talking about finding love in different places and getting fulfillment on the road. What's this all about? But I said Gigi just keep is, eyes I wonder if Lionel at the end of the episode last week had never said, Tell me I'm sorry. Would that have started? You think that would have so. you think that would have ignited it? I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. Bishop, I'm pretty sure Bishop had to hear her hollering over there in that guest house. Hello. It won't butt down the hall. Yeah. And he ain't hear that? And you know pastors hear everything. Cause you know when you got that brown <laughs> looking, you go extra loud. So yes. you know, her voice was <laughs> way up here. <laughs> y'all was tripped out last y'all said, did y'all <coughs> notice the whole time she was fighting and smacking the piss out of Lionel Richie? She never wasted that guy. Oh no, you ain't wasting that yak now. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was wide. I'm gonna say it's yak just for the simple fact that I like to talk about brown looking. <laughs> That's like we could pinky say you could have slowed this motherfucker down gonna make me spill this yak oh, on the two hundred dollar suit. But why he act like that was an expensive suit though? That ugly suit. That ain't GQ men's nah. wear where you get the suit, tie, <laughs> handkerchief, shoes, and socks to match. <laughs> and they'll take you to church. <laughs> half off. But no no no. But if you need the alterations, the alterations is half the price of the goddamn suit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how they get you. I said, oh Lord. So Charity went ahead, um, because no, First Lady May was like, you know what? In order for me to uh, put a little thickening in this suit, let me go ahead and while we go over there to pray for Meryl Siles' husband, I'm gonna take Charity with. Now, where has Charity ever went on a ride to yeah. go pray over somebody? Not one time. 
First lady, you need to stop that. Yeah, you and her and Bishop go. So Charity went and she was like, Mama, this it ain't even that serious. They said he gonna recover and he gonna be back to good in two weeks. It's not that serious. Miles Hawk is still going on the road with me. And I'm like, all right, Charity. Now, huh? Her husband just got out the hospital. You think they as soon as they get home, she, she wanna jump on the road with you? You yeah, she gonna wanna go home and take care of her husband. Come on now, don't do that. Huh. But um first lady was like, No. That settles it. You're going to have to stay your home parts here. So Charity went home and she was crying about it to her daddy. And her daddy was like, you know what? And basically at this point, anything the first lady may say, if it, she say left. He going to cut it off. He going to go right. <laughs> so he was like, you know what? I think it's a good idea. You need to go ahead and go on that road. I will handle praise and worship. And she said, you know, Carlton will do it. You just going to have to go and talk to him. You're going to have to sweeten him up a little bit, but he will do it. Bishop said, don't you even worry about praise and worship. I got that on lock. Yeah. You go ahead and have yourself a good old time and find love on a pimped out bus. That's uh -huh. what you need to do. Hey. So, Bishop went over there to see Carlton. Now, I got to ask y'all a question. What's wrong with Kyle Bakker's eyes? <laughs> he looked like, you remember when Bernie Mac first got sick and his eyes got really popping? Oh, yeah, yeah. His eyes look like that. So I'm mm. wondering, do, does he have something going on? Because mm -hmm. his eyes were huge. But Carlton, like, he done put on weight between between seasons because he, yeah, he had a nice little, he had a little stomach. And, say, I ain't man? paying too much mind. No, when, maybe he balking. Yeah. He, and it ain't cutting season yet. Yeah, it ain't cutting season. Yeah, in January, he gonna start, he gonna be cut. Last month. August, our birthday month, oh, we was bulking, huh? <laughs> but now we cut. Yeah, now we cut. We gotta get, we gotta get it back right. So he pulls over there um, at Carlton's house. Carlton and Kyle. Was that his real name? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. It his don't even husband. Matter, like Mike B said. They outside, you know, in the garage doing what they doing, um, tinkling around the house. And Bishop was like, you know what? I have to talk to you. And he basically laid it on thick. He was like, listen. I would love for you to come back to Calvary, benefits included. I said, oh, really? I said, man. Huh. Anthem, Blue Cross, Blue Shield. Yeah, dental insurance. Pay time off. Huh? Sick leave. What? Huh? From day one, I ain't got to put in 90 days. I get it fresh out the door. All right. But I like what Carlton had to say. He said, listen, what you're not going to do is use me. Mm -hmm. To fill a position and basically when charity comes back, then I go back to being the gay um, Minister of music that's not at Calvary no more. Mm -hmm. So what do you want me to come back as and Bishop said? I want you to come back as, as yourself. yourself Do and, you and using the gifts that God has <clears throat> given you to please our Holy Father? That's what I want you to do He wasn't he was not sold and neither was his husband. So his nah. husband came over there and said, you know what? No, nah. I I'm not feeling how this is. And Bishop went ahead and gave the speech about, you know, basically letting him know, listen, we're doing a change over at Calvary. Yes, you're not going to be able to change everybody's minds overnight. And no, this is not a battle that you should have to fight with the church. But this is a battle that us as a church are going to have to fight with the world. And I can do it better with yeah. you by my side. Yeah, let me and you change the world. And let us do it. Then they so they got they bought They got so he was like. Damn. I'll be, be back on Sunday morning, God darn it. See, see, you start playing on the fella's ego. See, you said we can go in there and change the church and be like, who me? Hey, ain't gonna try and change no church, but try to change the world. <laughs> I'm the top security guard of the world, Craig. You remember that? Of the world. So we gonna go and change the world. Tell him, bro, we're gonna go change the world. <laughs> he a ride or die. <laughs> so long, it don't matter what it is. If I tell you you can change the world, you you gonna do it. Just gonna do it. <laughs> Where we going first? <laughs> you <an> idiot. <laughs> That's that man pride, boy. Are uh, you change the world? <laughs> yeah. You see what happened to Daddy and, and um they they were <laughs> they got attacked by the, running. behind that trash can thinking uh -huh. they was tight fly scared of the world. So then we over there at Triumph. Now, Jacob has had this conversation with um, this deputy mayor. Deputy mayor came over there and said, listen, did um, Pastor Skates brief you on the fact that um, when I run for mayor, that I was going, that he was going to be my spiritual advisor? And basically, he was going to scratch my back and I was going to scratch his. But now that you're in position, I think that we can work something out. 
I know that you want some things, you want to do some things with the homeless, the community, all of this kind of stuff. And I know that there should be a separation between church and state, but, but those lines are so thin and they do yeah. cross over. Yes, they so, do. So there's a lot of money to be getting. Mm -hmm. And um, with my connections, you wouldn't have to worry about a thing. That's right. All you got to do is stand behind me as the face of, of being my spiritual advisor. I and said, can, and you're going to be swimming in money. I said, see, here we go with this guy uh -huh. doing money thing again. Mm -hmm. So then Bishop um, Jacob is over there having a meeting with his board members. He's giving them, okay, this is what we want to do. Starting Sunday, we want to start busing people to church. We want to do this. We want to do that. And this heifer, this guy doing trustee. Light bright. She over there. But when Bishop Pastor Scapes was here, we did this, this, this. And we ran into some red tape here, this and this. And um, we needed insurance on the drivers and every individual that we're going to have in here. Yes, we got four new members, but we lost 200 because basically this is what she said in ghetto terms. You brought them hood knuckles up in here. And the Randy's 200 folk out here that's really tired them over these four people that's coming in here and bringing skit and we got to go pick them up. <laughs> that's basically what she said. And mm -hmm. she said, so now what you want to do is spend some more of the church money to go get people that ain't got nothing. They can't put nothing back in the pot. And you think that we supposed to be all right with this? Jacob said, listen, we going to do this and I will have the money to do this. Oh, yeah. The lady go tell him said, because he said, the Lord leads this church. She said, the Lord don't lead this church. The, the money, money does. Can I talk about that for a minute? Can I? <laughs> go put it on in there. Can I talk about it for a minute? Go and talk um, about it. As much as we do say that the Lord does lead the church, um, let that money stop. Mm -hmm. The whole train going to stop, I'm telling you. And mm -hmm. you ain't going to have a peaceful moment up in that mud bucket if that money ain't flowing now, right. Now, I ain't saying it's right. It ain't right, but it's a business but, aspect to it now. But if your pastor is kissing certain people's hind parts in the church, trust and believe. Them ninjas they is giving some good money. When you see stuff that you just don't understand, mm -hmm. you can't get away with what you saw Sister Maybell over there getting away when you be yeah. like, why in the heck ain't she sat down by now or being put out? Mm -hmm. Now, not all pastors are like that. No, they're now, not. Some, now, some pastors will stand up for no, right. No, we had a great one. Yeah, you want to stand up for right regardless of how much money you putting in. It don't make no difference. But, yeah, when times get tight, some people take desperate measures to keep stuff going. Cooch across. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Coming and delivering them huge checks. Yeah. Uh-huh. So then, listen. Pastor Skate said, y'all had said that y'all thought that uh, his wife knew where he was. But every day that she didn't. He gonna call his wife on the guy doing telephone and tell his wife, hey, listen, basically she is a plant, but I don't think she was a plant from the beginning. I think she really just wanted to just be connected to the church. Yeah. But now she, he told her, he said, listen, <laughs> and he looked all kinds oh, of crazy. Oh, toe up. Crazy. I said, I'm still trying to figure who was high. I think they were rock wild. I said, who they back there behind? And I'm looking like this, like I can really see who it is. Who behind? I was hoping they was gonna focus in so we could see. He told his wife, "They killed my daddy. <laughs> they killed my daddy. They burned him up in the church. And that it okay? They took my church. church. He said, "I need you to take these green leaves down. Make them pay. Make them pay. You got me, baby." She said, "Keisha Cole Skate said, I got you, boo. I'm, I got I'm not like you, dummy. You dummy. He won't even tell you where he at." He just up and just left you all by yourself with no money. I don't know if you got a house or not, but now he wants you to take down the green lease all by yourself. Well, he couldn't do it when he was there with both of y'all. <laughs> but this is the part that teed me off. Why was he talking to her like he was the pimp and she was the hoe? Yeah. Talking about something. Good girl. Good girl. And she was like, he was like, tell me you love me. Good girl. What? I don't think, I ain't trying to downplay her or nothing like this. She ain't smart enough to take them down. She is a female, though. I don't mean to spoil it. Jacob already done figured her out already. I think he has, too. He done figured her out already, so she ain't smart enough. So the next move that she made was because she knows that Clarissa is one that's... Everything is a statement. She got to have this. She, her office got to be here, got to be <clears> that. <throat> and although they haven't had this conversation with um, First Lady Skanks, First Lady Skanks said, mm-hmm. Let me go ahead and give up my office 
and go ahead and make her feel a little bit more powerful than what she really is. Mm. So she goes over to Jacob's office and was like, you know what? I gave, I cleaned up my office, cleaned out, moved all my stuff out so that Clarissa can move in. Jacob's like, you ain't had to do all of that. You know, we good with how everything is. She was like, you know what? I knew that that was something that I needed to do so she could go ahead and move in here. But I want to let you know, I got your back. Mm. And anything that you need me to do, I got you. She walked out that office and Jacob looked at her like, Dead giveaway. Sums up. Mm -hmm. And I said, Jacob, if she take you down after you don't peep that, you deserve to go down. I told him that I think she's going to try to come on to him. That's what I think she's going to do. I don't it know. It did look a little closer in the cove, now, didn't it? Huh? So now over there at um, Lord Zora, the weed is floor. Now Jacob and Clarissa are finally having a conversation about their daughter because evidently somewhere in there, Zora's teacher had called Clarissa and told Clarissa to say, hey, she mm -hmm. hasn't been, been she ain't been here in yeah. class. She's just been sitting there dazing off in space. She got a good, good grade, but she ain't been participating in class. Now the first thing Jacob said, <laughs> maybe it's weed. weed. <laughs> I she said, said, I don't smell no weed. It's edible. It's edible. She said, that's not funny, Jacob. Jacob said, I'm just trying to tell you. Hey, when I was that age. That's what I was doing. I was baking weed brownies every Friday night. Uh-huh. Hiding weed up underneath my bed in my shoebox. I ain't even going to tell a story about weed brownies. Let that go. I made the biggest purchase of my freaking life when I ate a weed brownie. And that's all I'm going to ever say. <laughs> didn't really, didn't hit me until I signed on the dotted line. <laughs> Thank God I could afford it. But it's the biggest purchase I've ever freaking made in my life. Ooh. No, except for this house. Yeah, that'll be the second biggest. No, that was the first. Yeah, that was the second. <laughs> <laughs> Too much in my business, y'all. Yeah. This Don't even church. worry about it. You know, it is what it is. Medicinal purposes. I had yeah. LASIK. <laughs> With cataracts? So at some point, Clarissa finally kicked into mama mode and she goes in there and she talks to her daughter. Her daughter was like, listen, I'm good. Ain't nothing going on. You tell me I talk too much. Now I'm not talking enough. When can we ever meet in the middle? I said, you know, as order we explore, you was a good salesman. Uh -huh. She's a motivational speaker. Yeah. Uh -huh. So later on in the episode, Clarissa was like, mm -mm, something ain't right. Mm -mm. Went into her daughter's room and tore that joker up and down. Went in the panic, in the in the panty drawer. I said, mm -hmm. "Ooh, she about to find something." She ain't find it. Smell around the box for the weed scent. Yeah, I mean, she looking for all, for weed, and I said, "No, she gonna find a condom." She finally flipped over that dump, the pillows on that twin bed, and Damn. there is a Trojan. It mm -hmm. wasn't no Magnum. It was a Trojan. Yep. One of the ones you get from the free clinic. Yep. Should, the ones they put in their white paper bag and, and, and fold it down like this <laughs> and just, you know, you just hope and pray. Found that. Zora walked in and was like, Mama, what you she doing, doing ramaging her. through my stuff? First of all, I got a problem with when I hear kids say that. First of all, you ain't paid not You ain't paying not near bill. You ain't paying no rent. I can go through anything I want to in that Matter of fact, I'll burn this goddamn room off. Matter of fact, I'll make you sleep out in the living room on the floor. <laughs> or maybe on the porch. In the trunk. You got an SUV, put the seat speaking down. Of, speaking on the flow, rabbit hole, boom, boom, boom. I used to live on the south side of Richmond in the ghetto. And I came home <laughs> one night. And what happened was, next door, this girl and this guy was arguing. And he was trying to get her to shut her mouth because she had to go to work next morning. But she didn't want to keep on, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I wish they were set up. And then this thing, you know, everything got quiet. And I was like, well, okay. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> So the next morning I come outside, this heifer is outside on the god dorm, uh, cause we was on the inside the apartment on the floor, sleep by the door. <laughs> Curled up. You Knocked she, out. You said she, she looked at you and went on back to sleep? Nah, she didn't look at oh, me. Oh, I yeah. thought she got them looked at you. She went on, she was too embarrassed. She was too embarrassed. She went out the door, he locked the door and didn't let her back in there. And she had to sleep outside. Like a dog on, on the mat. All right, we all, we back. So, um, so yeah, so then she confronts Zora. She was like, wait a minute, what's been going on? And she was like, 
I'm trying to be responsible. Yes, I've lost my virginity. It is what it is. That right there is proof that I'm being an adult. I'm being Child responsible. Son, they were. <laughs> she said, uh-uh, no, no, no. So Clarissa said, you know what? Isaiah is not to be in this house. No, no more. God doing more. And matter of fact, you need to carry yourself as a respectable um, young lady and not give your body up to different people. Giving your body up does not mean that you are exploring your love with somebody or something that she said. Yeah. And um, so Zora the Weed Explorer said, well, mama, I'm not you. I'm not you. I'm not one that's going to be walking around here, dainty, this, that, and the other, and saving myself for my husband. That's not going to work for me. Clarissa opened up her mouth and said, me making your father wait made gave made him, him res respect me she he, said he earned my respect, respect. said did he <laughs> bow she slapped it and i felt sorry for zora in that moment only because zora been getting hit yep. some kind of way every episode. episode but i said when she said that she was like yeah i earned his respect by holding out so i said did you <laughs> And I said, Zora, you got a point, but I can't agree with you right now, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't say that. You can't say that to your mom, but you know, you should have thought it. But that, it should never came out your mouth. Look, I told you last week that, see, last season, I demoted Gigi from pastor to she could just be on, on the pulpit because I didn't want too many people to know I sat her down. <laughs> but now she's the head of outreach. Nope. I told you last week. Now she's a guy doing Usher. Because now her and Darius, see, this is what happens. This is what no, happens. No, 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 no. That, that was the demotion from the last week on the couch. So that calls for another demotion. She she can't even be the Usher now. No, you can you can you can still Usher. No. What she gonna be responsible for is picking up the church fans at the church. Yeah, and the gum. Yeah, and the gum and all that stuff. Check out the pews. That's what you're doing now. Cause 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 her and Darius don't got real comfortable now. Uh-huh. With being sexed up. He, he, he taking his zipping on dress up. I uh -huh. said, Gigi, did you take a bath? Because I ain't seen two action, people take baths. Action, day day. you know, come, you know, stay on overnight. Uh -huh. Have a nightcap. He all up in the bed, looking all beige. I said, Rick Fox. <laughs> Rick got darn Fox. Why, why, I got a question. I got a real serious question though. Why would men get older and they still got that nice, they still got nice, good, nice looking hair. Why they just don't, when they comb it, why they always comb it back? What, what's going on with that? I looked at Rick Fox's hair and I said, well, why they insist on combing their hair back? See, what it is is, see, when you start getting older, you start getting thin up here. So what you do, you comb their hair backwards to cover up that, that thinness. That's what you do. Speaking of, didn't, a whole lot of people didn't know you were bald. Yeah, they didn't know that, yeah. Yeah, he's now, bald, but he don't like to be bald on here because these lights, we actually have four lights beaming on us mm -hmm. and it be burning his head up <laughs> so yeah i might come on every now and then without the head you know, sometimes i'll mix things up yeah but he's voluntarily bald it's yeah. sickening two weeks I, later he have a whole head I of hair right on back it's They're like it was never gone yeah so then we 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 got gg i said I, i'm gg whatever so gg had told rick fox darius look I need you to come on to the house. We're going to have dinner. We're going to go ahead and break the ice with this family. We're going to make it do what it do. You know, be prepared. Because hmm. they're going to rip you a new one. So, yep. he said, is there going to be food? That's the only thing he was worried about. Is there going to be food? Yeah, that's good. That's the, only, that's the only thing we care about. It's food. So, let me back up a little bit. Bishop Greenleaf gets a um, a surprise visitor. Miss Coochie Cross. Uh-huh. She come on up into the church. Sit down. The secretary said, Bishop, you want me to leave the door open or close the door? He said, I need you to close the door. Uh -huh. I said, Bishop, you doing too much. See, see, she tried to be the armor bearer that we've been she asking tried. for. She, she tried. She tried. But he, look, at this point, since he know that his wife done did something, he don't, he don't need He don't care. He was like, close Let her the in. Door. Close what the door. Say? Close the door. Turn off the lights. L light, light, a, light a candle. Taylor said, turn them off. <laughs> So she comes in there and the first thing she does is write him a check and I was like, what the heck is... What? I know what she was doing. She was writing him a BOC to get the BBC. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Sam. It's usually the opposite way around. It is. Funny. We'll write the BOC to get the BBP. <laughs> I, the games are getting twisted in the world today. I don't it's know what's going on. It's 2017, man. I don't know. 
We flipping rolls. They probably like, what's BBP? Big black puss. Shut up. You gonna get my goddamn channel set down. That's why that's why I lead a Y off. See, big black puss. And then you gonna have the nerve to say it again. <laughs> yeah, big black puss. <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> yeah, so she came with a check. Didn't I didn't see the amount. Did you see the amount? I tried to see the amount, but they kept on blurring it out. And he was like, well, what's this for? And she said, when you put good things out, good things come back, right? So I have an appointment. You know, well, I got a phone call from my um, from the, the, the breast center. And usually when everything is A-OK, -okay, they let you know your results over the phone. But this time they wanted me to come into the office. So I feel like I need to sow some good seed in the ground right now so that I can get a harvest and being that I'm free and clear for another five years. So... She said she was on her way to go on over there to, to see how the results was going to be. Mm -hmm. Bishop volunteered to carry his hind parts with him. She said, right, I'm going to go with you. She said, you sure? That was her intent anyway. Mm -hmm. But now I'm trying to figure out. I said, well, is Coochie Cross really a breast cancer survivor? Did she mm -hmm. just go to her GYN? That's what I read. That's what, Jack, what I read. I said, that's what she went. Because when she came out there, he said, she was like, I'm good, fine, clear, and I'm good for five years. No. You think she went to her GYN? You went in there and got them duck things. <laughs> you know them little, you know them little duck they things. They go this way, style. Whatever way they go, <laughs> whatever them them duck lips. I done seen them. I done been there. Yeah. And I told my they, husband they if you gonna be up you in that, smear you with that little thing and then you put gonna have to thing. you gonna have to see what I go through yeah. sometime. So that's what happened. That's why she didn't let him go back there. If he had went back there, that's what I thought he was gonna go back there. I would have kicked his hind part. I thought he was gonna go back there. So she come out there, she said, you know, I want to thank you so much for being in my life. And this, then, the third, give him this, this sensual hug. And he he couldn't wait to exhale. Uh, they couldn't even breathe. <laughs> they I said, Bishop, breathe. if you don't back your goddamn Geritol hind parts up <laughs> and get a part of that. <laughs> and in the meantime, in the between time, that goddamn wife of his had came to the church looking for her husband. And the secretary, she, look, she real shady with it. Oh, he's not here. He's with Miss Cross. <laughs> they should have seen the look on her face. She was like, with Miss Cross to, to do what? Say, so you won't think about the bishop when Lana was there. Hello. Hey. So then we finally get to the to the meat, the meat, the meat. We got we got Darius, Gigi, <clears throat> um, Charity, mm -hmm. First Lady, and Bishop. Having a nice time. Having a good old time. I guess this is after they ate dinner. Yeah. And they seem to be getting along with Darius really good, asking him about his background, his family, and all this good stuff. And he had told him, <laughs> he said, you know, my, his mom had his mom and father had passed away. Daddy died, and then the wife died like a couple of days later. And um, so Sophia was like, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. And Bishop said, you know what? That is beautiful. To be so in tune and so in touch with someone that, mm. They would just go ahead and go off together just like that. I said. I can only imagine what that's like. <laughs> Gigi was like. It was like. What the fuck is going on? Said, Darius excused himself. He told Gigi. He said, listen. You know, time for me to go. Something is going on with your parents. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what it is. But whatever going on in the dark will come to the light. <laughs> that's probably like, the only reason why he dodged a bullet. Gigi was like, you know what? They can't right. stand Darius. She said, but I hope and then pray that they get over it. So, Bishop First Lady, they stand out on. Well, Bishop was actually on the balcony after he had took his took his hand, smoothed it back with that, that blue grease, that blue yep. magic. No royal crown. <laughs> yeah. With the metal top put it, and put a do rag on. Put a do rag on. And he was standing out there. He told First Lady May. He said, "So, are you ready to talk?" And she said, "We'll talk about what." He said. We can, we can dance around this all night long if we mm -hmm. want to. But uh, I know that you and Lionel had an affair. I just want to know when. She, she was like. Uh, Start uh, blinking wide open. She was like. It, it never, I never meant for it to happen. When you slept with my sister. I had to do something to fill the void in my heart. He said. He said no, no, no. Boosket. He said no. No don't, don't try that. Don't, yeah, don't do boosket. that. Because when I did it. It was one time. And I came back. And I told you, you immediately. immediately. So don't you dare. Sit and throw that in but my face. you. To hear this from me for years. He said, when was it? He said, mm -hmm. I know, I know. Nags head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, what going on down there in Nags head? Nags head, don't, don't let me pop with a Nags head. If you had said Myrtle Beach. Yeah, or Las Vegas. 
Boo. <laughs> Maybe even Florida. Yeah. But yeah. We've had some times Maggie. in Florida too. So she was like, you know, you know, I didn't want to. You know, I said I wasn't going to leave you for him. You know, and she made it sound like Lionel was the one pursuing him, pursuing her to leave Bishop. And I'm sitting here like, nah. that's not the conversation mm. that I heard last week. Nah. You said that you were about to leave your husband yep. to be with him. Yeah. Okay. So you call him a silver tongued devil, making all these promises. So next hmm? thing we know, she, they, I mean, they getting into it. And, um, and she said, he said, well, something about, I don't know if, he said, I don't know if I hate you right now. But I don't know if I love, love you either. Right. Said, so, ooh, stab to the heart. And she said, but she tried to turn that bitch, get around on him. Said, think about it before you think about leaving me, cause you can't afford to leave all of this. And I said, well, all of this meaning all of this, or all of this mean all of this. She all talked about the material, the materialistic stuff. She said, this dark, cruel world of this and, uh, and having lack. Hmm. Bishop looked at her like. I don't care. Do you really think I can be bought right now? And I'm saying huh. to myself, Bishop, she kind of do got a point. You are accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Ask um, ask but Kevin, but, Kevin but he, Hart's he wife. Over though. No, ask Kevin White, um, Hart's wife. She ain't never going to leave him. But I, this is what I told somebody. And that just might be the female Leo in me. This would be the perfect time for Aniko to take her home parts to the courthouse. I mean, and I would look so busted. I mean, I would look so busted. I would be the distraught, pregnant wife that's being humiliated all over the world right now. And I want you to give me a peace of mind, judge, that I can live a normal life that I am accustomed to. Because right now, this is stress on me and hmm. my baby. And I can't do it no more. And I will have an emergency hearing. And I will get some whole lot of emergency funds. And then as <laughs> soon as that baby pop out, take the goddamn swab. And boom. And as soon as the judge be sitting there trying to contemplate on whether or not he's going to make the decision to make that happen. And he look like he in doubt. Roll the footage. Yeah. Motion granted. Uh huh. Hundred thousand a month. You know, until we can go ahead with the divorce proceedings. By that time, she don't stack up enough money to mm -hmm. really have her for a lifestyle. You, cause you know that the divorce gonna take a little bit. Yep. Come on, Nico, be smart about it. Huh? But anywho, we won't charge you for that advice. Yeah. So if you're watching this, just when it's free on the books. Yeah. Just do like this. You know. And I know that you're talking to me. But so, you know, you led. The, you know. Pay tithes on that right there, you know, slide ten percent this way. I take it. Uh -huh, my PayPal is down there. <laughs> in down, the panic section, like, like they niggas niggas are down in the panic section. It's in the panic section. But that was about it. So they really ended off on a note where mm. we don't know if Bishop is like Is he gone or what? Man, I said the first thing that he gonna do if he do leave is fall up into Cooch Cross. That's what I agree to say. Uh-huh. I said, Oh, first lady. So you messing up, you pushing them even further mm. to the devil in the red dress. And the bad thing about it, don't nobody else know that nothing going on between them except for Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not really, I shouldn't say this, but I'm not sold on this new, we love, um, this new love that um, First Lady May has for Gigi all of a sudden. It took for her to kill your brother for her, for you to love her. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That yeah. is so confusing to me. And at I first, I feel like it would have made her hate her, hate him even worse. Yeah, because I thought at first it was just a facade, you know, to get over everything, you know, da 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 da. And after a while, her true feelings would come on back to the surface again. I but think now, it's coming. But now they really seem like they they joking with each other. I don't buy. I don't it. know. I don't buy. It. But now we're gonna I'm see. I'm not sold. We're gonna see what First Lady Kisha Cole Skanks got in store for them green leaves, and if it's actually gonna come to fruition. Whatever she got ain't gonna work. I don't, mm, Jacob's smart, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna just put it like that. Now Jacob would need the help of his daddy. Uh huh. To keep standing. Yeah, because he got the church on his daddy's back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. the job going to be straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Who's up? Who's up?